All right, guys, we hope that bus is ours, the green one coming. Anyway, make a quick intro. Uh, so today we're going to Cebu City. We have two kind of big things to do. We have two appointments, the T, D, Echo. I think that's like a chest X-ray, better than X-ray. They kind of figure out what's going on because she, uh, Mary Faye did test negative for TB. Uh, so we have to figure out what's going on with that. And then we're going, <laughs> And then we're going uh, to get an uh, EMG test. So one's in the morning, one's in the afternoon. So uh, it will be kind of a longer day, but at least we had two big things done today. So here we go. <laughs> so this is all part of the adventure. The bus terminal so far no sun which is good and no rain so that's nice it's not too hot out here so we're just gonna catch a taxi like every other time that we've done while we came here and do our first test and then later in the evening we have another test so uh, we might have a little wait in between so here's a little look at the soft bus terminal hey bro <laughs> come on Going to Mandawi. Mandawi, all right. Medical. Medical. Oh, I think we're all doing medical today. We're going. All right, we're picking out some baked goods. All these look good. Look at the size of that. Look at my hand. So as soon as you get off the bus, there's a bakery there. Bakery here. Then there's a, I think a Dunkin' Donuts, yeah, a Dunkin' Donuts right there. So lots of little food options once you get off. And some chips? Yeah. What kind is this? Oishi. Oishi. Crackers. It almost looks like uh, Cheetos. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Motor, motor. Taxi. <laughs> Five pesos. <laughs> Hello, sir. Como está? So this is what I got. What'd you get, Mary Faye? <laughs> Mary Faye told me to get this, so I got it. What, what, what is this called? What? Anybody know the name? Mo Bahu. Mo Yeah. It's very good. It's hard to explain what it tastes like. It's not like too, too sweet. It's like there's some like leaves in there or something. It's pretty good. <laughs> One bit. <laughs> Inside, um, we just paid for the 2D Echo. 
Um, it was 3990 but with uh, the PWD discount that Mary Faye has, um, now it's 3192 So we did save uh, around 800 pesos, which is pretty good. So we just paid for this, now we're just waiting in line, and then, uh, we'll get this done. And we'll wait a few hours and get the uh, nerve test done after this. Alright guys, so one test down, we have a few hours until the next one. Just leaving UC Med. Mary Faye needs some new sandals, uh, so we're gonna go look for a new pair and just kind of roll around. All right, so we just made it out of the taxi. I'm here in a vlog, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome so, to my vlog. Welcome to my vlog. <laughs> So we have a few hours to spare, so we're just gonna kind of walk around, find Mary Faye some shoes. It's like a pig, we call yeah. it like a piggy bank. Piggy bank. Wow, who's the bag aisle? Look at all these bags. Almost too tall in here. You can hit your head.
dropped off here. The hard part is finding an empty taxi. We found one, but it's across the street, so we're just gonna walk across. the next destination. Did you guys succeed? Did you find some good things shopping? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're a little early, but we are here. This is what my uh, Fuente Circle is right over there. Too much more. Uh, we just got off the last evening and now we're just walking to the e mall to where the bus terminal is. All right, so we're right near the bus terminal. We came to eat at this place. It's kind of cool. It has the four favorites in, ja in uh, Philippines. You can guess what those four are. Looks very good. So I'm the only one that got Jollibee. <laughs> I think I made a mistake. That looks really good. All right, guys. So we're just going to chow down. We're really hungry. All right. So I am back home now. Um, yesterday was a very long day. We started early. Uh, we did two different tests. One was a 2D echo, which was like an ultrasound for the upper area of Mary Fay's body to kind of get a better picture of uh, the lungs and the heart and different things, trying to figure out why. She was coughing blood and um, the doctor did think she had pneumonia and she did think she had TB as well, but she was tested neg negative. The results were negative. So uh, at least with this, maybe they can get a better picture of what's going on. Uh, we won't know the results for a few more days for that. So uh, the next one, the next test we had was uh, the EMG test and that's like a nerve test. That was around like 5.30ish or so. So um, we didn't get home to like 11 p.m. or something like that last night. So it was a very long day. But I think these were two important tests. And uh, the next one, the EMG, uh, I don't want to say too much just because, um, you know, the EMG doctor did give us some of the results, but we really don't know what to do until probably we talk to the neurologist um, and see. Uh, Mary Face family do have some, you know, decisions to make 
um, you know, going along with either surgery or physical rehab, physical therapy, um, with some of the results he did say was, uh, that was something that she was born with and it probably will continually getting worse. So there's not much, he was pretty much saying with physical therapy, there's not, she, he doesn't really think she will get much better to be able to like walk. Um, but you know, I don't want to say too much because uh, we do still want to talk to the neurologist and see what the steps he or she thinks we should do. Um, so, so yeah, so the nerve test, her nerves and her leg just weren't responding. Uh, she just has no power and there's no way she can get that back. It's not a muscle problem. It's, you know, a nerve problem. She just, you know, the connection is not there. And that's the same with her arm. Uh, so just going forward, we are going to wait a few days. And then uh, once the results come back for, you know, her lungs and her upper body, uh, 2D echo test, we'll go back and try to see the two doctors again. And, um... To see what they think, you know, it's just a big roller coaster ride of up and downs with emotions. And you know, Mary Fay's a young girl, so to go through this is probably not easy for her. Um, you know, just getting hope and then not, no, you know, it's just uh, you, know, you just feel bad. But she's such a good trooper. She's such a good human being. She's been staying positive through all of this. Um, you know, the EMG. Some of these tests are not easy. You know. You know, she cried a few times, uh, you know, doing uh, the EMG test, but then in the past, you know, doing the needle test, she had to give blood a few different times, you know, just all these different tests, and oh, we just are trying so bad just to, you know, make her life easier, and uh, she's such a good person, so um, we'll see what happens next. We still need to go to uh, back and read the results to the neurologist and see what they think. Um, you know, surgery is still up in the air, but the problem with that is, you know, if she does have surgery, even after the surgery, you know, she still will get worse. So, uh, we'll see what they decide. And, you know, of course, Mary Faye's family are the ones that are going to decide no matter what, um, the doctors say. So, uh, we'll see what happens next. Um. Uh, but a cool thing, you know, it is Mary Faye's birthday this month. She's going to be 18 years old, so that's a very big milestone. Um, so if you guys want to throw out some ideas of maybe something we can do for her or get for her, um, let me know. Um, I think that'd be kind of nice to brighten her day with a few gifts or, you know, anything. Because uh, 18 is kind of a big one. So anyway... So in a few days, we'll, be, we'll go back to the city, read the results to the doctors, and see what they have to say. So hopefully you guys are doing well. Thanks for watching and um, for everything, and we'll see you guys next video. So see you guys later.